Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to day two of Core Monsters Finals. Today, we're going to be doing freestyle. We're going to be seeing the same 12 trucks as yesterday. We're going to see Risky Business, driven by Cliff Slater, Napa Auto Parts, driven by Damon Newton, Snow Problem, driven by Joe Montgomery, Reckless Red, driven by Kinsley Parks, Busted Knuckles, driven by Christian Holt, High Voltage, driven by Curtis Sparks, Sinful Addiction, driven by Keith Johnson, Outlaw Thunder, driven by Trip Cassidy, yesterday's racing champion, Loud Pedal, driven by Mike Maxwell, Rat Trap, driven by Randall Boone, Try Me, driven by Jack Schroeder, and then Cottonmouth, driven by Lonnie Hall. Up first, we're going to be seeing Risky Business, Cliff Slater. Now keep in mind, he did have a rollover in racing yesterday in round two. He was racing the champion of the day, so he had the pedal down and just didn't quite get over the ramp right, and the truck went over. So hopefully we won't see any mechanical issues. You've got the truck out here, so it must be doing fine. Good air over the racing lane there. Nice open view with the body being off. We can see what the driver is doing inside. Nice wheelie off the red lane there. Just kind of feeling the track out. This is the biggest venue this truck has seen. So Nicely done up and over the van there, the box truck. I was saying this is the biggest venue this truck's seen and he hasn't had a whole lot of experience so good air off that jump there way to control it and get it down right next to the wall and not have to panic good air off the yellow lane 30 seconds remaining in this run it is a lower momentum run but we're getting good solid hits out of him Nice wheelie. Kind of pops it back up even after it came down. Ten seconds remaining. So we're going back to the racing lane here. Good air. So far a very good run for Cliff Slater here with a score of 22 to start us off. Very solid score here to get freestyle underway. Now we're going to see Damon Newton in Napa Auto Parts. He's had some bad luck this season, but he's also had some pretty good runs this season, so he could come out and really show us a good solid run here. It was a good first hit off the racing lane. Gets it whipped right around back to the other lane across. Good air. A little bit of an awkward bounce on the landing. Couldn't quite stab it like he would normally like to. As he turns it around, looks like the front end kind of pushed a little bit. Took away some of his momentum. Around, gonna come over and looking for the next hit. And it's gonna be off the racing lane, a little off to the left, so the truck got a little cattywampus coming up into the air. Nothing too crazy. Slow roll over the little bump there. Nice hit over the box truck stack there. Looks like we're gonna whip it around into some donuts, picking up that right front tire. Good thought to kind of get out of the throttle, let the truck settle back down to continue the donuts, and then you know, here we go over the other box truck stack. Very nicely done. Beautiful wheelie up on the tailgate. 20 seconds remaining. What else are we going to see out of Damon here? It's been a very good run. He's slowing it down. Looks like he's setting up for something big. Yes, he is. Let's off. Good air over the container. Very, very nice hit. Good to see somebody go for that. Now the run is over. That's a score of 21 for Damon Newton and Napa Auto Parts. Very good run. Honestly thought it would have outscored Cliff's run, but I'm not the judge. Now we're going to see Joe Montgomery coming out in snow problem. It's very good to see Joe out here. You know, these guys are based up in the northeast, and they don't tend to travel out real far. You know, they run a pretty tight budget to keep these trucks operating between him and Alice. Uh, so seeing Joe out here in Las Vegas is really refreshing. Very nice slap wheelie after that hit there. But it's very refreshing to see him out here. Excited to see how he performs. Good air. And up and over the other ramp there on the back side. I like that. Very different from what we've seen so far. 
Solid hit over the racing lane there for Joe. Whipping it around. Going up the big ramp early. Slow rolls it over the container. Onto the front. No damages though. Just going to continue. Very cool to see it, but I would have personally wanted to hit it with a little more momentum. Slow roll over the box truck. Very nice. 30 seconds remaining. Actually, a little bit less than here in this run, but it's been a very good run for Joe. Not quite the momentum we've seen so far out of the other two trucks today, but still keeping it going, giving everybody a good, good show. Coming up on the racing lane here. Very nice wheelie off of the racing lane. Beautifully done. It was a great, great final hit for Joe Montgomery here today. Looks like he's going to try and get it into some donuts here for you fans. And he is going to get it into him. He had to really work for it, but there we go. Beautiful run here for Joe Montgomery with a score of 19. Very, very well done. Now we're going to be seeing Kinsley Parks coming out driving Reckless Red. Now, as you know, normally Reckless Red is driven by Opal Baxter, but she is still recovering from her big crash earlier this season. So she asked if Kinsley could drive the truck for her here at the finals. That way the name is able to make an appearance, even though she was unable. Anyway, here we go. Good start for Kinsley. Top three are right now there in the bottom right corner. You can see Risky Business sitting on top of the 22. Looks like Kinsley rolling over here. Now keep in mind, Kinsley is a rookie. This is her first show. So I would suspect that we're going to see her kind of take some of these hits lightly and try and get accustomed to how the truck's going to react. There's a good air there for her off the racing lane. The truck whipped around. Look, we're coming to the other racing lane here. Good wheelie off the car stack there. You know, for a rookie, I'm seeing a lot of good potential here. She's keeping the truck moving. She's not slowing down too much. Climbs over the box truck very nicely. 30 seconds remaining in the run for her. Here we go. What are we aiming for? Going for the back side of the container. That's a brave move. Doesn't quite get it. She's going to have to back off of it. But she's stopping it. She's going for it again. Goes up. Doesn't quite get all the way up. Crushes the container, but the container is going to fight back. Score 23 for Kinsley. What a way to end the run. Very, very well done for the rookie. Now we're seeing Christian Holt coming out driving busted knuckles. This truck has one freestyle win on the season. I would expect that he's going to throw down here and try to get a second one when it really matters. Huge air off the racing lane, lands on the front, bounces right back into a wheelie. Beautiful truck control to get it woed up in time and able to turn around with no interruption and momentum. Good air off the car there. Getting turned right back around. Going for the back side of that van stack over there. Very, very nice into a wheelie. Kind of catches a little bump there, throws the truck off, has to bring it down. But it's not going to face him any. He's just going to go right for the next hit. Up and over the van. Nice, nice wheelie right up onto the tailgate. Looks like we're going for the big ramp here. Good air right on the right front tire landing there, though. So, truck it was able to take the hit and hold together you know, we're going over to the ramps on the side looks like there's a camper there he's going right for it right through the center of it beautifully done right at the 30 second mark there or 30 seconds remaining I should say very very nicely done destroys the camper in one hit make sure nobody else is going to get a chance to hit that thing he wants those points for himself this has been a very good run high momentum a lot of hits into donuts here almost rolls the truck trying to get it into donuts up the side of the ramp, score of 28 for Christian Holt and Busted Knuckles. That is a great score. That's going to be hard to beat. But we do know we have some heavy hitters coming out. Now we're going to see Curtis Sparks and High Voltage. Been a strong contender all season. Hadn't got any wins. Would love to get his first here at finals. Good wheelie off the red lane there. 
Turns it right back around. Good air. Very nice. Whipping it back around again. Just getting set up immediately for its next hit. Slow rolls over the ramp there. What's he going to do here? Solid amount of air there. Very nicely done. Smooth landing, too. He had that move in his head. He was ready for it. It's been a very good run so far. Now, Busted set a really high bar right before him. So, following that, you know, he's going, man, I got to do something. But it, I don't know about the judges, but to me, this run's lacking a little momentum and a little bit of wow factor that we saw from Christian Holt just before this. Good air there, kind of taking the ramp at, the, at an angle there to do something a little bit different, show us a different angle. 25 seconds remaining in the run. It's been a, it's been a good run, though, for Curtis. Good air over the van stack. I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing here. It looks like we're going to see some more donuts here. Nice flat donuts. Trucks controlling very nicely for him. Is he going to get one more hit? And in time, he is... Good air over the racing lane there. It's been a very nice run. I'm not sure what the score is going to be here. It looks like he's given the fans just a little bit more. Nice wheelie over the racing lane. Beautiful run. Score of 22. It is not enough to take the lead away from Christian Holt and Bustin' Knuckles, but still a very good run for Curtis. Now, next up, we're seeing Sinful Addiction driven by Keith Johnson. One of our most aggressively set up trucks in the field coming out straight into donuts very nice donuts too there you see the top three busted knuckles sitting on top of the 28th and reckless red and risky business with a 23 and 22 to follow that 28 is going to be a hard score to beat keith is coming out here and throwing down though took him a minute to find the next hit there but he found it and made a good hit out of it Looks like we're going right back to the racing lane. Nice, Wheelie. Kind of late on throttle as it came down there. Wanted to make sure the truck was settled before he got back on it, I guess. Looks like we're going over to the van stack. Good hit. Very nice air off of the van. Haven't seen a whole lot of trucks get big air off of that, so that was... That should be a good bonus to the judges there. Good air over the red cars. So right back around. Looks like he's thinking about the next hit. I'm gonna roll up and over and try to get some of the camper. Just not a lot left there. He's going up the side of the ramp. It's over on the lid. That's our first big wreck of the finals there. Score of 19 for Keith Johnson and Sinful Addiction. It was a great run. It ended early. Now, racing champion Trip Casty and Outlaw Thunder, the rookie. Yes, you heard me right. The rookie with the racing championship yesterday coming out. He wants to double down and take the freestyle championship as well. Huge air off of the yellow lane. What a start for Trip Cassidy. Whips it right back around. Good wheelie coming back the other direction. He ain't got a whole lot to lose here after yesterday's successes he just wants to give everybody a show another huge jump there off the red lane just really coming out and putting the pedal down keep the momentum up rolls over the edge of that ramp almost gets himself in trouble but is able to line it up for the next hit beautifully really just staying on it momentum is high very nice lands on the right front right up into a wheelie beautiful rubs actually the wheelie bar there on the back of the truck as it comes up now here we go good air off of the dirt ramp there and great truck awareness to know where he's coming down there 30 seconds remaining for trip Cassidy and outlaw thunder huge air over the container really just went for it there I don't know if this is gonna be enough to knock off Christian Holt but it's definitely enough to be in the talks to do so this has been a fantastic run for Trip Cassidy so far. It's like five seconds remaining now. Big air over the yellow racing lane. Got another awkward landing on the front end, but the truck is taking everything he's thrown at it into donuts that these will count for time.
very, very nice donuts again. We saw a set of these yesterday after he got his championship win. Beautiful run score of 26 for Trip Cassidy and Outlaw Thunder. What a way to end the season. Unfortunately, it was not enough. Now we're going to see Mike Maxwell coming out in loud pedal. It's like we're going straight over to the van stack for the first hit. Very nice. Good solid air up and over. It's a whip right back around. Another new camper out there. I don't know if anyone else noticed that, but I sure did. See how long that camper will last. I would assume that, Mac, that Mike Maxwell is going to want to hit that camper, though, in this run. It's like he's actually going right for it. Beautifully done. Lands it right on top. Pops off onto the front end. It was very, very cool. Good truck control to kind of let the truck come back down, not get himself in trouble. He didn't stab the brakes or anything. Up and over the container. There you go, Kinsley. That's how you're supposed to do it. Gonna come down, gets it wrapped right back around, going for the dirt ramp over by the other camper. Looks like a piece of the camper is caught up in the truck. Hopefully that won't affect his run any. Unfortunately, looks like it is getting involved a little bit with that right front. Awkward hit off of that ramp, really fighting to keep the truck in control. Goes back up and over the container. Nicely done. So far, very, very good run. Nice, beautiful wheelie up and over. That's probably one of the best wheelies we've seen all season. That was gorgeous. Now, looks like we're going for the racing lane here. Very solid hit on the racing lane for Mike Maxwell. The run is over there. Beautifully done, though, for Mike. Looks like he's going to give the fans one more hit. Good air, huge air, actually, up onto the tailgate. Brings it down, slaps the left front down, breaks it off. What a beautiful wreck to end. Unfortunately, that doesn't count for time. That's a score of 26 for Mike and Loud Pedal, but a great run. Next up, we're going to be seeing Randall Boone coming out in Rat Trap. This driver has been at the top of every event he's been at this season. Now, I think he's only actually gotten one win in freestyle this season, but he knows how to throw down. He's been right there every week up and over straight to the camper wanted to get there first I don't blame him very beautiful first couple of hits there top three right now busted knuckles still sitting on top of the 28 loud pedal with the 27 outlaw thunder with a 26 to follow three very good scores scores that are hard to beat but the three drivers we have remaining are all capable good air off of the racing lane there for Randall Boone so far very good momentum in this run coming out and throwing down up and over the van stack nice air some of the best we've seen off of that stack today which it wipe back around good air off the yellow racing right onto the tailgate with that slap wheelie beautifully done not afraid to put that truck up when he needs to where are we headed now looks like we're headed to the container up and over very nicely done Kinsley went out there earlier, kind of damaged that container, and these guys have been taking advantage of it so far since then. 20 seconds remaining for Randall Boone and Rat Trap. Looks like we're going to see some donuts here. Great momentum in these donuts. It's up on its two wheels. Can he bring it back? No, he cannot. Ends up on his roof. Score of 21 for Randall Boone. Just could not quite bring it back. Now we're going to be seeing Jack Schroeder coming out and try me. Another truck that has been very strong in everything it's done this season. Coming out, looks like we're going straight for the container. Big air. Beautiful vertical hit to start. Way to set the bar for himself early. Up and over the van. Good air. Right into a slap wheelie. Gorgeous hit so far. Jack has come out and he said, I am throwing it down. I want this win. So he has really just put the pedal down. Huge, huge wheelie off of the yellow cars there gorgeous looks like we're going to line up for our next hit here going a kind of a cross thread over the van but bounces its way back and comes down the other direction that was really nice moves it right back around great momentum so far coming back across this way 
Hawks are going for the camper. Yes, we are. Camper is getting caught up in the back tire. Hopefully, it'll ditch it before anything happens. Oh, no. He's on fire. Looks like it ruptured the fuel cell. That's his second fire this season. Unfortunate for Jack Schroeder. And try me, this can be a score of 21. He's going to have some work to do before next season. Now, one of the most dominant trucks we've seen this season, Lonnie Hall coming out in Cottonmouth. If there's a truck that can take busted knuckles off of that top spot with a 28, this would be the one to do it. Lonnie has been at the top of every thing he's done this season. He has only lost one freestyle event this season so far, and he's not looking to lose another here. So far, it's been a great start right into some donuts. Gets it turned right back around, gets out of them quick. Lines right up for the van stack. Very nicely done. A little slower over it than we've seen from the last few trucks. I don't know how the judges are going to take that into consideration here. Lines up for the big ramp. Good air. Right up onto the tailgate on a slap wheelie. Gorgeous slap wheelie. Seen a lot of really good slap wheelies today. What is he doing? He's coming to a stop. Oh, he's going for the power wheelie. He loves to do that. This truck pulls those front wheels so nice up and over through the container very nicely done it's a whip right back around 30 seconds remaining so far he is definitely in consideration to fight getting something caught up a little awkward hit there got the right front caught up when he hit the cars he's got a piece of that camper and up and over gets the side of the container puts it on the lid and breaks the left front off on the landing unfortunate ending for Lonnie Hall there with a score of 24 which means your freestyle champion here is Christian Holt in busted knuckles this season. What a great freestyle it was today. Our standings are as follows. Busted Knuckles with a 28. Loud Pedal with a 27. Outlaw Thunder with a 26. Cottonmouth with a 24. Reckless Red with a 23. High Voltage with a 22. Then we're going to see Risky Business with a 20, 22. I'm sorry. Try Me with a 21, Rat Trap with a 21, Napa with a 21, Sinful Addiction with a 19, and then Snow Problem with a 19. Guys, this season has been amazing. It's been great to be a part of it. I can't wait for next season. I hope to see you guys there. Y'all have a good one.